So me and Gaijin have this very weird thing going on where if I make a video or a revisit of something of a certain vehicle, they'll just throw me a curveball and add something completely new to it, making me go right back to it and making another video for it. Because yes, I did touch up on this vehicle again a little over a month ago, kind of showcasing how it really performs in this day and age for how old the vehicle is. But now Gaijin was doing a couple of things in that same time frame. One is they wanted to move it down to 9.3. I thought that was an absolutely terrible idea. This vehicle does not belong at 9.3 and I was going to be very adamant about it. Sure, I would have liked it, don't get me wrong, but come on, this thing at 9.3, it would have just completely spanked everybody, especially to those who remember when this vehicle used to be 8.7. Yeah, at one point it was at 8.7. It was dumb. It completely was OP and Gaijin knew that and they've been moving it ever since. But instead of moving it down to 9.3, Gaijin decided to just give it DM23. That's right. This has a brand new shell type, which it has been using DM13 for the longest time. And in truth, it doesn't add too much. But I admire the justification for Gaijin to keep this vehicle here by giving it a brand new shell. And yes, I will be covering the Challenger Mark III. I wanted to do that, but I just was not feeling that today. So off to the Leopard 2K instead, but check this out. Now, instead, you have DM13 as, uh, well, the T1 modification and DM23-120 as the tier four. And if you take a look at the stats really quick, it's not really that impressive. 410, 346, 237 at zero, 30 and 60 at 10 meter with gradual drop off as you go at distance and it costs 110 more silver lines to use. If you take a look at the DM13, 227, 340, 393. So you kind of see what I, uh, where, where I'm getting at right there. It's about maybe just a little bit of an increase. Definitely a good increase on the zero, but not so much on the 60, which is what really matters. However, you would be surprised how that extra 10 millimeters of penetration, well, they kind of make things a little bit more inter interesting. I can't English today. I'm sorry. Against the T72 AV terms just enough to widen that weak spot on the T-72s. Not like DM-13 wasn't having a hard time as it was, but it now has a much easier time because of that extra 10 millimeters, you'd be surprised again. So I'm not gonna go too far into detail about this, okay? If you want to, I have a link posted up right up here. Uh, if you wanna see the quote unquote uh, revisit of the Leopard 2K with pretty good detail, today we're just talking about the firepower. So as per usual, let's take this bad boy out and see does DM23 make it feel any different? I don't know, but we'll see. Let's get started. Is it weird that I kind of want to see at least the Leopard 2K get some sort of HE round or a frag round or something? I know they didn't realistically fire it, but none of the Germans have it except the Leopard 2 PL, which inherently isn't German, apparently. But <laughs> what I mean, I mean, if we can have unrealistic shells like DM43 for the Germans, I'm sure they can have some sort of fragmentation round just to kind of, you know, spice things up just a little bit. Well, oh, but I'm struck a nerve saying that. Just saying. Oh, I hear a lot of things in front of me. And I was like, oh, a T72. I, okay, I'm getting greedy by doing this, but I really want to hit him. There we go. Beautiful. T-72B, too. It wasn't even the uh, the terms. Oh, I think I see something else. And a helicopter? Or not. <laughs> there is something. Terms. Front. Nope. That sounds like a BMP or something in front of me. I don't even think he has any idea where that came from. There you are. Gotcha. Feel exploded. <laughs> it's kind of nonsense, I'll admit. Oh, and there's someone else. Another terms. Nope. What? Really? Re really? Oh no. Uh, I wish I had the the bind to use my machine gun because we can just break his barrel right now. Um, let's try something. I'm gonna try something. Try this. It's probably not gonna work. Nope, didn't work. Oh hi. Bye. <laughs> Another T-72. Was that the same guy we killed earlier? I hope it's not. Oh, he's dead too. You know what's funny? That last kill, or uh, this T-72 who died, didn't even give me the assist, even though we didn't penetrate his armor. I know. And this Leopard 2K is having too much fun. Hey, save me some of it, buddy. I'm coming. I'm coming. 
There he is. Wait, really? Go and break his gun anyway. Oh, I guess we burnt him out. <laughs> and BMP2. Lovely. Yeah, sorry guys. This game's kind of over for them, so... That was actually a pretty quick game. I'll take it. Here's a strange thing that I've noticed over the years with the Leopard 2K. It doesn't feel as twerky or as fast. At one point, this thing, this vehicle, I think is one of the fastest Leopard 2s. But it doesn't feel like it is anymore. Does that make sense? I don't know if I'm off terrain or something, but this vehicle used to feel a hell of a lot snappier and way more controllable. But now it feels sluggish. I don't know if it has something to do with the traction or over the years, Gaijin has slowly nerfed it and <clears throat> made the uh, Russians a little bit better, but we're not gonna go into full detail about that. But to those who play top tier, you'll know exactly what I mean. What is that? Oh. Oh, dead now. <laughs> Thank you whoever marked it and somebody just gave away their position here. I saw that. Uh, uh, I sort of saw that. What is that, T-72? Oh, Ugh, of course, he disappears out of nowhere. Think he knows we're coming? Nope. Beautiful. Another terms. <laughs> yes, I know. I love fighting him. I've got one more front. I've got two in front. Oh. Okay, I got to back up. Come on. Keep it coming. There's one. Popping smoke. Because I've got zero trust. Come on. All right, that should buy us a little bit of time to get out of here. Uh, there's one of them. Corner's clear. Look like a, uh, a ZSU of some sort. There he is. No, no, it's automatic. Oh, no, zero trust on that. <laughs> but wait, wait, wait. Maybe I can do this. Hold up. I think I can drop down right on top of him. I hear him. Oh, boy. Oh, it's dangerous and dumb. There he is. Gotcha. Nice. <laughs> oh, no. Guys, please don't be that guy and wear the, uh, what we like to call the furry skin. It just looks cringy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know to those who enjoy it, have at it. I personally hate the way it looks. Who's are we shooting anyways? Huh? Oh. I mean, DM13 would have done that anyway, but I'll take it. Ooh. By the way, I think this guy thinks I stole his kill. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, a little piece of advice. Try not to uh, fire off your machine guns just kind of randomly, you know, because you're just you're just giving yourselves away. And that is a BMP2 front. Uh, I don't think he sees me. Oh, there's a lot of them. He saw me for sure. Okay, he's got too many friends near him. Come on, come on, fire, fire, fire. Oh, I can definitely nail that BMP, though. Let's do this. Oh, I got greedy. I should have focused that guy on the left. That was entirely my fault. Interesting. Another map that doesn't fit the high tier, uh, I guess, play style? Meta? I don't know. <laughs> it's weird to say. And I've got someone right ahead of me. And can I hit him? Yes, I can. Got his gunner, fuel tank. I have no idea what it is, though. I see you right there. Mm. Try to see if I can get him. No promises. Oh, oh, maybe I can. Actually, hold up right there. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> Guys, that's why I hate going in there first. For this exact reason, if you know exactly what you're doing. All right, the point belongs to us. I've got a hostile CV-90 up front. One, I saw him earlier. And two, I hear his engine. But where is he? I know you're here, buddy. I hear you. Oh, I think I see him. There he is. He's going to move up. He might be baiting me, though. Nope. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I had to look away for just a split second. Oh, hi. Whoa, I got his horizontal and his loader, though. He might be able to pivot. He can't. And he bounced. Nope. Sorry, buddy. Oh, yoink much. It's <laughs> all right. Oh, 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 I got lucky with that one, dude. Damn. 
Oh. <laughs> it's always got to be Artie, huh? Yeah, it's always got to be Artie. It's all right. We got a backup. Oh, we know what that is. Nope, but he can have this though. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love the 20 mil on this thing. And you know the best part about it? Ooh, uh, is the, the gunner controls it, not the commander. Do that again, buddy, I dare you. Come on, do it again. Oh. It's not the SOB who killed us, but kind of feels good to get a little bit of payback on that type of vehicle. Just saying. Oh, there's our little friend right there. <laughs> what if I hit him? <laughs> it's not, it wouldn't be the first time, but what if? So, uh, there's a, uh, an A7D flying around, and he's got Mavericks on. Trying to draw his attention. Here we go. Come closer. Come a little closer. There we go. Come on. Ugh. Or he can crash. <laughs> uh don't be that guy huh? oh i just i saw him super super low altitude and was wondering what the hell was going on nope and he's done yeah I, i've been watching him the whole time and he's been going really really slow out okay not good come on excuse me sir i need to back up thank you little uh1b <laughs> Nice. Yeah, this game's over. And we did good, too. I'll take it. Whoa, there's a lot of them in front of us. Whoa, well, of course. Oh, that's one less. <laughs> what is that, Chinese tank? No, that's another terms. Bro, so many terms. I love it. And there's another one. Oh, boy. I'm dead. Oh, yep. I spoke way too soon. It's all right. We got a backup. We're good. Damn, that was way too quick, though. You know, that's the thing about the Leopard 2K. It has the same gun as the 2A4. It has the same firepower at this point. And it has pretty much the same very, very sort of spacious crew or uh, uh, crew cabin or hull, turret, hull, whatever. You know what I mean by that, okay? <laughs> and yet it still reloads at max 6.7 seconds. I'm pretty certain that it can get up to six seconds, or maybe even better than that, but Gaijin probably reduced it just for the sake of balance. Who knows? But, uh, there's a lot of hate coming this way, though. Uh, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Yep, we'll be okay. That really hurt, but we're okay. Ugh. And there's another one. Come on. Gotcha. <laughs> I kind of... Hey, his, his, uh, his, his hitbox is about right here somewhere, and it, it still shot through, thankfully, but man, was that annoying. Teammate on my left just died. Get this T-72 right here. Gotcha. Uh, oh, no, I'm going to die shortly, I think. There's a tank right there. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I think he's... Shit. Okay. I gotta pick my uh, I gotta pick my poison here. All right, clueless, not dead. Oh, yeah, I had to pick my poison. Uh, it is what it is. You know what? Let's have a little bit of a bonus, yeah. I'm gonna link right above here in the video a little custom video I made for the Nords, and it, it didn't get much traction. And I'll be honest, I'm very disappointed by it. Actually, let me see if I can nail this guy first. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. I thought it was funny. My friends thought it was funny. So did my family. But doesn't that what every YouTuber ever say? <laughs> so if you guys want to check it out, let me know if you did. I would greatly appreciate it either in that comment section or this one. Whichever you would prefer. Go ahead and bomb this guy. And boop. That's one. Three more to go. Hey, how about a little bit of a... What did you call payback? I don't know. Or finishing your meal. Whatever you want to call it. And boop. Oh, by the way... Nords really suck with uh, splash damage, so you got to hit them almost in a very specific area. Hey, there's a helicopter. Let's get them. Oh, oh. My favorite. There we go. Oh, and I am running the AP belts, too. And there's a second one. It's a... Oh, no. Guys. 
I'm not gonna kill it. Mm -mm. He's getting this from me. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I know the little supper bus. You're good, buddy. I ain't gonna kill you. But he looks very defensive, though. Oh, we're good. Nope. You're getting a missile. Oh, that hurt. Oh, spawn protection, huh? See if I can get the spin on real quick. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, critical. Damn it. So close. So we're fully up tiered, but it's not really a problem because this thing, believe it or not, can actually fight at 11.0 or in this case, 10.7. But it's just a stupid trend going on with my channel or with my just me and my experience where we always get up tiered anyway. Hence why I always play top tier. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I wouldn't mind a little bit of a change up with like maybe a 0.7 max BR down tier up tier, but I don't know. Guess I'm just complaining too much, huh? Uh, this is gonna be interesting. Thanks, front. Got one front. Oh, that's not a good hit. I've got another one. I got multiple front. I don't think you're realizing she's with the building. Uh, this guy does, though. Got his breach. Whew. Lucky hit on my part. I don't think he realizes that, buddy. You're a you're kind of boned. This guy, on the other hand, pops smoke. And I vaguely remember where he's at. I think right here. Yes. I messed up. He tried. Come on, right here again. Beautiful. Burning him out. Uh, let's use that opportunity to move up. Keep shooting. Keep shooting that machine gun, buddy. There you go. Lovely. Oh, I'm being stupid aggressive right now. I got taken to my left. Yep. Taken to my hard left here. There you are. Go ahead and boop you real quick. And then I want to get behind this guy right here. Uh, he's got a friend. Come on, let's get his friend. That's one. He doesn't realize what's going on. And he's dead. Nice. <laughs> this is good. All right, let's kill this guy again. Oh, no, I, I knocked him out earlier. Oops. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, I'm dead. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm very dead. Or he's dead. Oh, no. I'm dead. Yep. Yeah. It's all right, guys. We got to back up. No? I'm going to try this. I'm going to keep that sight right there just in case my gun uh, comes up. Okay. Back up. Nice. <laughs> I actually tried to back up to go uh, recruit really quick because we are. Oh, yep. We're running. We're running. Oh, boy. Okay. I think it's that same guy, too. Yep. I've got someone front. I'm recruiting right now. I'm going to turn off my engine just in case. Here he comes, I think. I, I definitely hear him. Come on. I can hear that gross, misfiring piston engine of yours. Keep it coming. That's one. Moving forward. Moving backwards, actually. Oh, boy. Oh, he has no clue. Look at him. Oh, he's got a friend. He's been engaged. And there we go. Lovely. Ooh, let's break his gun. Come on, gun. I can't hit anything with this 20 mil, can I? <laughs> <laughs> I promise, guys, they are not paid actors, okay? I promise. Oh, and he chased out. Damn it. What is that? Oh, oh he's still alive. Oh, it's a... Uh, it's a Chinese PTZ-89. This should get him right now, I think. There it is. <laughs> you know, I knew he was alive. I saw his, uh, his eyes. Oh, can I hate this guy? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Nice. We can hit him one more time. What are you doing? Keep it coming. No? I, I don't know what he's doing. He's just kind of there. Uh. 
Why? <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, either I'm a total potato or he is. I'm out of ammo. I'm out of... <laughs> I'm a potato, guys. Well, that's uh, that's the game, ladies and gentlemen. Nine kills, two assists, and a single cat point. We're about 400 points or less than 400 points off a of nuke. Man, that would have been a nice way to end the video. Oh, well. Well, I guess that's that. GG's. So there you have it. That is all the gameplay you are going to be getting with the DM23, at least from me. And if I'm brutally honest, or if I can be brutally honest, it didn't feel any different. DM23 and DM13 pretty much feel the exact same way. And maybe I kind of let my guard down a little bit with DM23 thinking that, oh, you know what? It's a better shell type, uh, an existing one at that too. I'm going to go ahead and just try to aim a little bit more center mass as opposed to what I'm used to with weak spots, V spots, so on and so forth. And I think that was kind of my downfall because I expected it to be just a little bit better. Although when it comes to the Leopard 2A4, I still treat it pretty much the exact same way, except that the 2A4 has better armor. So you can at least be more aggressive and take a hit. Whereas the Leopard 2K, you can't. So just because you have that DM23, don't let it bring you down into a full sense of security thinking that you have a better shell, you'll perform better. You won't, I promise, okay? So basically, is it any different from DM13? No. I don't feel any difference with the damn thing. And for an extra 110 silver lines a, a shot, I don't know. If you're scrapped for cash, unlike me, 95 million silver lines, uh, I would say use DM13. Honestly, you won't really feel much of a difference. And you save a little bit of silver lines. Outside of that, I don't know. Maybe it did help me. I just didn't really notice. Feel free to let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Maybe you noticed it. Maybe you do feel it in the actual game. Or maybe it doesn't really matter. And while you're down there, tell me what you think. Maybe... 9.7 is still a good tier for this vehicle. I think it is, but I don't know if you guys think any differently. So again, let me know exactly what you think as I do deeply enjoy reading those comments. And one more thing too, I know I like to plug this in a lot as you see at the beginning and here. Uh, I do live stream over on Twitch and... I know there's a bunch of you guys who've been asking how to support the channel uh, outside of, you know, regular ad stuff and whatnot I do for the channel. If you guys want to support further, you can just go ahead and drop a, uh, a prime sub over on my channel or drop some regular subs. And that'll be an awesome way of supporting here and keeping everything going. Because, again, this is now my full time work. So thank you guys so much for making that dream a reality. Seriously, you guys are awesome. Not many people can say this. Thank you. So... With all that being said, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy everything. Again, check out the live streams if you happen to be interested in seeing this type of gameplay live and supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys not only in the next video or even said streams, but in War Thunder itself. Until next time.